What up? So I finally had a win. Oh my god. <laughs> and um, so I bought at 484. When I saw this, I was like, I was like, oh my god, clothing sale! I was so excited. I was so excited that this dropped. It's really funny. And I was using this red line as my bottom because I was like, this is kind of like the breakout and where the signal was on Oracle is that 420 area. Um, uh, yeah, like 426 was my um, uh, entry. And uh, no, I mean my risk. 426 was my risk. So if it broke this and I was in at the 480s, so I was risking 60 cents. So fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, uh, and because I was like, oh, this is the big drop, it's going to bounce. This was a slow bounce. But you know what I'm proud of? That I'm not buying over here, okay? Um, this was my whole point of, um, this is insanity, right? When you do the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. So I was like, I'm buying here, and then I sell over here. So why don't I just sell a buy over here and sell up here? So... Do you see how I changed my strategy? So funny. Um, and so like this was midday trading, right? Also not good. But I saw an opportunity that this was bottoming. If I would have waited a little bit more, I would have had a dollar a share profit, which is really funny. Because my idea was buy as close to your risk level as possible. So technically, I think I was judging this as my risk level. Um... But I think this and 420 of the signal and like this is where it first kind of like, you know, boop, boop, bounced. So, um, yeah. And I saw that this was kind of like acting weird. And then I think on the five minute, I think I saw like a red candle here. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to lose any of my profits. I'm just going to get out. Um, and this was just kind of like, it, it did hit like 535, which was my goal. But it kept like dipping down to the 520s and I was like, you know what, if I can just get like 524 or 526, I'm just going to get out. Um, but it did end it up, it ended up going back up after, after I sold. So I'm just happy and now it's above VWAP, you know, it's like still a top percent gainer, huge volume. Um, so, I mean, cool, good for me. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, so... Um, I think I'm done for the day. I'm pretty sure. One of my other rules is after a win, I can't get back in. Oh, that rhymes. That rhymes. Wow. After a win, I can't get back in. <laughs> Shit, I could have sold for 535, which was my goal. It's like, so obvious it's going to keep going. But whatever. Who knows? I don't know. Um, I'm just like, Oh, so I listened to the recent episode of Steady Trade where they were talking about like your inner gremlin and being compassionate with yourself. And I was like, I'm just going to be more compassionate. I'm not going to beat myself up when I make a shitty trade, but I am going to like try to do something different. So I'm really happy that this worked out. And um, I'm going to sell this paper position. So... I think I'm getting into a nice groove. Um, my, whatchamacallit, I'm just going to check my, um, one second. I want to check where my account is at. I really want to grind back up to 1,000. Um, I'm at 470.85. So I think it was in the 440s. I made like 30 bucks. Um, but super proud of myself for trying something. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So you see how it's like, this was the bottom, right? Like right there in the 435s. And then it just keeps like grinding a little bit higher, breaks through, sits back on VWAP. And like who knows what it's going to do now. It could totally like fail. But I think with the momentum and like, hey, what are you eating? Just your own feet. Um, he had a pen today. He chewed like the bottom of a pen. So that sucked in the other room while I was like watching over here. Um, so that's pretty much it. Good for me. Good job, Liz. Thank you. <laughs> okay, bye.